And now we're unraveling the beauty behind Stitching Fox Needlepoint, where passion for creativity meets a needle and thread. Catherine McMahon joins us in studio and to put a face behind so many beautiful works of art. Thank you for coming today. Thank you so much, Ava, for having me. Now, I told her this woman's spring, and it has sprung on set. These are all beautiful and putting a face to all of the amazing works. How did you get started? Well, having a needlepoint store has been a lifelong dream of mine, and yeah. the opportunity uh, just it appeared about four years ago, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled to be in Landrum, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We're in the upstate, uh, just about 40 minutes away from you. Wow, and it's a relaxing hobby, but it's not an isolating one that someone might do by themselves, although they could. But it's a very community type thing with classes that you offer. It is. We offer classes. Needlepoint is something that you can um, easily, it's very portable. It's mm -hmm. something you can bring with you wherever you go, if you're waiting in a car line yeah. or uh, at a bus stop or anything, you can uh, do your needlepoint. And we have classes, yes, you can do it by yourself. A lot of women do it in groups. We mm -hmm. have Stitch Club. So. Amazing. Well, just taking a look at some of them, I mean, the butterfly and the bouquet and the footstool here. What do people learn in these classes? There's different kinds of threads I was reading. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, we, uh, needlepoint has come a long way. I've been okay. uh, stitching since I was 18 years old. And back in the olden days, there was only wool. And now you see predominantly silk, silk blends. We have some really pretty yeah. silks here, sparkles, velvets, mm -hmm. lots of different textures. Mm -hmm. You can see in these pieces, there are beading, mm -hmm. um, lots of different techniques. Here we have ribbon work. So uh, the finished products are, are just beautiful. Here you see a lot of spring. We can stitch for the holidays. Oh, and that's actually when I found you. I think I saw a nutcracker picture on your Instagram and I was just jaw dropped. It was beautiful. You mentioned the beading, a lot of dimension, but even painting the canvases, that's a trend as well. It is. So uh, we sell at stitchingfox.com. We sell all the supplies that you need nice. for needlepoint, and those are primarily comprised of hand painted canvases. Mm -hmm. They're hand painted by mostly women all over the United States. We go to market twice a year, purchase these canvases. Mm -hmm. We sell the threads and notions, so that could be uh, scissors, little pretty oh, beaded fobs and yeah. things, but all of the different threads, and then we offer services, so we offer classes, retreats, which are multi-day classes, mm -hmm. and then finishing services, so once you stitch your canvas, uh, you send it back to us and we will make it into something that will really bring it to life. Yeah, well you know my grandmother used to do this all the time but it wasn't just pictures. I mean she had wearable art, belts, that's yes. very popular too. We have belts, key yeah. fobs, iPad cases, clutches, wow. this is a stand up, you'll see all of these ornaments on this wreath, this is a footstool. I love the palms on this one, Isn't so that, playful and fun. A lot of people have uh, footstools that they have yeah. inherited, this is a great way to mm -hmm. brighten it up freshen it up. Needlepoint doesn't have to be um, a little old lady sport no, anymore. No, not at all. Well, yeah, I mean, starting at 18, I know Sarah Madden does it too with Try On, and this is something you're working on right now. That's Let's right. show the audience here. Yes, yeah, so okay. this is a Whimsy and Grace uh, canvas, and it's a set of four uh, coasters, mm -hmm. and so I have started stitching on this piece. I've completed this one. You can see I'm adding a border, Okay. and um, so I'm stitching this piece, and just as as soon as I'm done stitching it, I'm going to send it to the finisher, and I'm thinking about having this piece done as a acrylic coasters. That's a real trend right now. Oh, very cool. And one thing that I think is interesting, you can take a picture of, you know, a person or a house, and you can have that sent in to be a template. We can, yes. Um, so we have things hand painted all the time. So just mail us a picture of your dog That's so fun. or your house yes. and we'd be happy to have that made into a canvas yeah. and then sell you the all the all of the threads that you would need to complete that. And if you need some wow. encouragement or some help, we have a whole community of stitchers. We'd be I happy to include you in yeah. our stitch clubs or our classes or our retreat. The stitch club. I want to be a part of stitch club. That's so fun. I mean, taking a look at just some of the things that you've been able to create here, decorative pillows, that all tell a story, like you said, a picture of a dog or someone that you love, something yeah. like that. A oh, bunny! Uh, for Easter, it's Adorable. a great piece. Here's an example of a lot of different decorative stitches, wow. a lot of different sparkle and textures that you have here. So mm -hmm. um, if you have some old needlepoint that you might have inherited, we'd be happy to freshen it up. And uh, we use uh, duck down pillow inserts so that they're nice and soft and mm -hmm. bright, colorful fabrics to yeah. really come to make the piece come alive. Oh. 
Well, and that you do. I don't know if you guys noticed the blue ribbon over here to my left, creating pieces, award winning. What is the most fulfilling part for needle pointing for you, Catherine? I just love that every stitch that I do stays stitched. And so there's so many things mm -hmm. that I do throughout my day that I repeat day after day. At the end of the day, when I am relaxing and I'm stitching, maybe that's an hour or two in the evenings, when I come back to it the next day, Still stitched. Still stitched. <laughs> Beautiful, Catherine. Well, thank you so much. I am just absolutely blown away at some of these things. All right. You can find Stitching Fox on Asheville Highway in Landrum. They're open Tuesdays through Saturdays to go check them out.